Shlo ame shalom on the side of souls by giving no praise to Yah by Shem Yahshua by Shem Kadash that belong to the apostles of GMS and honestly brothers doing the work of the Most High in truth and in sincerity. I was watching this um this documentary here. Uh, it's on the BBC. I'm sure you can watch it overseas somewhere somehow. It's, uh, it's called Enslaved. Uh, you know, it's featuring Samuel L. Jackson. So it's Enslaved with Samuel L. Jackson. Said so if you're here in the UK, you can use find that in the, in the iPlayer, right? Um, and look, man, East East has got to pay, man. East has got a lot to pay for, mind you. Know what? That's that's the beauty of the kingdom because in the kingdom he's going to pay, right? Jake wants to find a way to make East pay in this kingdom, but East is not going to pay in this kingdom, right? This is his kingdom. The Lord gave it to him, okay, right? But in the kingdom, we gonna have free reign. Right, the Lord is going to give us the authority over all of these heathens in the kingdom. Right now, all we got to do is uh, 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 wait, wait patiently for the day until the day that the Lord gives these heathens into our hands. Because this isn't the time. This is the time of our punishment. Right, Zephaniah three and eight. It says, "Therefore wait ye upon me." So that's what we've been commanded to do. So any man saying, "Take up arms against this guy," he's going off. Right, because and at the end of the day, it that's not the that's not the script that the Most High has written. In fact, no, no, no. Let me let me take that back. That is the script because you are gonna have guys that are gonna try and come uh, come through this way and want to do it that way. But you know what the scripture says will happen to them? They will come to naught. Right, this is Psalms one hundred and twenty-seven. I'm gonna grab that. For, oh, whoops, I'm gonna grab that first. Okay. Um, Psalms 127 and 1 it says, Except the Yahweh build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Yahweh keep the city, the watchman waketh but in vain. So, all these guys trying to build in this land, trying to uh, uh, carve out as a little bit of a little bit of a society in Esau's kingdom. That's all in vain because that's not what the Most High has um, has allotted for the children of Israel, right? We also get this in Acts 5, right? Um, it says, this is Acts 5 and, uh, where am I starting? Where is it? I'm sure it's, this is a lot. Let me grab it, just jump. Theodos. Right, so it says uh, Acts five thirty four. It says then stood up, uh, uh, there one up, then stood there up one in the council, right, a Pharisee named Gamaliel, right, a doctor of the law who had a reputation among all the people, who commanded to put the apostles forth a little space and said unto them, Ye men of Israel, take heed to yourselves what ye intend to do as touching these men, for before these days rose up Theodos, who are uh, boasting himself to be somebody, to whom a number of men. Uh, about 400 joined themselves who were slain and all as many as obeyed him were scattered and brought to naught and after this rose up judas of galilee in those days of the taxing drew away much people after him he also perished and all even as many as obeyed him were dispersed right so all these people trying to come in another way scripture talk about those that want to come in another way all these people that come in another way right their ways is is, is, is to naught because that's not the plan that the lord had uh, in terms of the salvation of the children of Israel, because they're trying to save themselves. Scripture says in Jude 20, 28, the 68th chapter, right, that no man shall save thee, right? I uh, meaning no man shall redeem thee. You've had, you've had, you know, you've had, uh, you know, different examples. Your Malcolm X's, your Marcus Garvey's, your, uh, uh, your Martin Luther Coons, all, all, all of these guys are coming and trying to be the savior of the children of Israel. But there is only one savior for the children of Israel, and that is uh, 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 Yahweh Shai. Right, and it's the way that the scriptures say is going to be the deliverance of the children of Israel. We're not, we're not going to, uh, you know, uh, set up a kingdom parallel to Esau's kingdom. Right, this is our, this is our arch enemy. You read that in uh, Ezekiel the thirty-five fifth chapter in the fifth verse, which says, um, uh, 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 speaks about a perpetual hatred. Right, so imagine you had the children of Israel just living peacefully all on their own, you know, secluded. To the Edomites. Do you know what these Edomites will do? They'll bomb it. Okay. Right. So I carry on. 
Zenao, I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone, for if this counsel be of men, well, it will come to naught. But if it be of the Most High, you cannot overthrow it, lest haply you be found to be fighting against the Most High. Right, so this, this, you know, some of the puzzle and down, what we're speaking, we're speaking of, we're speaking the Lord's words, right, ultimately, that's what we're doing, right, this is um, 2nd Ezra's, uh, the ninth chapter or the 15th chapter, it's 15th chapter. Right, um, it says second verse fifteen and one it says, "Behold, speak down the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth," saith the Lord. Right, so when you hear the apostles speak, when you hear all the men underneath them speak, right, we're speaking the words of the Lord. Right, um, you know that's why here before I left, we put up a prayer. Yeah, about Shimei, I'll show you know, guide, you know, guide our mouth. Let you know, let us, uh, you know, put together an edifying lesson. Okay, um. So at certain times, you know, I remember bro, uh, one of the brothers uh, pointed out, you do a lesson, you don't even remember what you said in the lesson. Why? Because it's the spirit that takes over. Because at the end of the day, right, man's goings are of the Lord. How then can a man understand his own ways? Right, so we put up them prayers before we make make a video, right, and the hope that the Lord's going to take over, and then, it's, you know, we put together an edifying lesson, okay? So we're not speaking of our own words, we're speaking the Lord's words, Right? But, you know, going back to the topic, look, man, Esau's got a lot to pay for, okay? Esau's got a hell of a lot to pay for. So I carry on Zephaniah 3 and 8, says, Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord. So that's that's what we've been commanded to do, to wait upon Yahweh Hashem, Yahshai, right? We're not, we're not set up to raise up and fight against this, man. That ain't our job, okay? Um, it says, until the day that I rise up to the prey. So that's, that's why, because we're not the ones that can... Fight against this man. Scripture says, "Jacob, that worm. What, what is a worm? A worm is defenseless. Right? A worm. Um, if, if you know, if, if you're lucky enough to have a garden, right? I remember growing up. Um, when I was growing up, you know, going to my nan's garden, and you'd see the worms, and the worms are defenseless, right? They, you know, it weren't like say a, a scorpion, where you know, as a human, yeah, you you want to be careful, or, or any other predator, you want to be careful because a scorpion." But that tail can sting your worm is just there it's just there just you know whatever what have you, you step on the worm it's dead you know you uh, uh you're hoeing the garden you cut the worm in half it's dead or whatever what have you right so this is jacob that worm defenseless we can't fight against this man this man's blessing is the sword but our blessing is greater our blessing is yeah <laughs> right you know it's going to be fighting for us okay well what is, what, is, what are we surname Yasha Allah, he prince of the power, he is the son of God, right? We are the children of the Most High, okay? So I read on, it says, for my determination. Sorry, I didn't understand. For my determination, right? And the word that I believe is Shapat, which means judgment, uh, Mashapat, right? For So for my uh, 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 Shapat, for my judgment, is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation. Even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured in the fire of my jealousy. So yeah, so yeah, Bashim Yashai are gonna fight on our behalf, right? Um, so that's that's what we have to do now, right? However, our uh, man in the kingdom, these devils are gonna pay, right? Once again, so uh, in, in this documentary here, right, enslaved with Samuel Jackson, you know, they just going around, um they they, they uh partner with these uh, this group DWP diving with a purpose, right? Um, and they're basically just going around, just like uh, in different places where you have shipwrecks of slaved, uh, you know, of slave ships, right? Where our, you know, our, you know, fellow Israelite man and woman and children, right? They were on these ships and they, they just died in these shipwrecks, right? You know, um, and it's, it's, you know, yeah, you know, scripture says, uh, Job 4 and 7, whoever perished being innocent, right, but this is, this is the legacy of these devils, right, and they believe that they're just going to get away scot-free, right, but they, the beauty of Yahba Hashim Shai, right, hey, uh, in fact, let me grab that first, right, this is Galatians, it's 4 and 6, or 6 and, whoops. You know, six and four. I think it's six and four. Yeah, six and four. Uh, yeah, six and seven. It's Galatians six and seven. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever man soweth, 
that shall you also reap. Okay, so whatever it is that you do, the most is not just going to be like, uh, yeah, whatever, and just forget about it. No, 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 no. The most is remembers that. Like you read Ecclesiastes, it says um, the, the Lord requires that which is past. Because these devils like to say, oh, that was in the past. No, the most high requires that which is past, right? Meaning that, that basically whatever it is that you, you did, the Lord requires that, man. And you, you have to face a judgment for it. So Je Jeremiah 49 and 12 says, For thus saith you, how behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup of assuredly drunken, and art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished. Thou shalt not go on pond, but thou shalt surely drink of it. So let's break this down, right? John of Israel, once again, what, what does that name mean? Yasha Allah, he, prince, power, right? He is a prince of power. He is, what is a prince? A prince is the son of a king, right? So he is the son of the Most High, right? So that, that it wasn't a lot to be enslaved, right? However, because we transgressed, we went into captivity, Right, and rightfully so, we were wicked, we were told what it was in Deuteronomy the 28th chapter, 15 verses of, of just, hey, you do good, hey, you're going to live good. But we didn't do good, we sinned. Why? Because we were under the first covenant, and in the kingdom we're going to be under the second covenant, where the most is going to make it such that we can't sin, okay? It says, um, so, so behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have surely drunk, and that's the Israelites, right? It says, art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Right, so basically, so you, you, here it is, the children of Israel went into captivity, and that's not their lot. Who the fuck are you? You know, excuse my French, just basically, the scripture saying, who the, you know, hey, if the children of Israel can go through, who the, who the F are you? Right, you go and go in, in, into captivity for all the wickedness that you have done, right? Okay, it says, uh, Obadiah, because these devils, they, they like to act all innocent, man. They ain't innocent, they're guilty. Right, guilty is charged as verse 10. Right, actually, uh, I needed so, but thou one and ten for thy violence against thy brother Jacob, and that's it. Right, these devils want to be like, Oh, well, but what did we look for? Thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. Okay, for thy violence against thy brother is this man, man, you know, you watch and. and uh, Oh man, you, I was watching this this this, this uh, documentary, right? And you got a Jake in there. He's the master diver in the, in that team. I mentioned the DWP in this team, right? To diving with a purpose, okay? So you you got this uh, uh this Jake, right? And you know when Jake gets pissed, and then they they do that little flinch, right? This Jake did that little flinch, and I'm like, look, man, yo, know, when the Lord puts a spirit on these. Uh, on the wicked of our people to get at you, Esau. You go on. Look, man. Look, man. These last days are going to be something else. Yeah, you going to get, get a lot of jade that going that to going, that going perish. But you're going to get a lot of devils that are going to perish too. Okay? Why? Because there is, there is that hate, right, that goes back all the way back to the garden. Okay? So Gen Genesis 3. 16 it says um i know 15 is actually what i want it says and i'll put enmity between thee and the woman and between thy seed and her seed it shall bruise thy head and thou shalt bruise his hill so that en enmity goes way back to the garden now well, if you can receive it okay this is ezekiel 35 and 5 it says because thou has had a perpetual hatred so you have You've had a perpetual hatred, a perpetual, think of perpetual, something, in fact, let's look up this word perpetual, okay, it says a long duration, antiquity, so from antiquity, this devil has hated the children of Israel, right, I will lump in the Hebrew, right, from antiquity, this man has hated us, an ancient time, a long time, forever, always, continuous existence, right, everlasting, indefinite, or unending future, eternal, you've had an eternal hate for the children of Israel, here it is, Israel just wanted to chill, but now this devil, you, you read uh, Genesis, what, the 27th chapter, this is the time of the morning, when my father are at hand, and then will I slay my brother Jacob, that's this man's spirit against the children of Israel, and you think the Most High is just going to let that pass? Hey, Israel went off and just read, read the book of Psalms. It says, uh, you know, save me from the wicked, which is a sword. But right? these Edomites, so called white people, they're the sword of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. 
You know, that's why they but you read uh, Revelation 6 and 4, it says on him was given the great sword, where you read that and you look at this man and what he's been doing throughout the world. Well, you see what he's done uh, uh, in Vietnam, you see what he's done in Japan, you see what he's done, um, you know, throughout the world, right, to these other heathens. And you can, you know, you see what he's done to the children of Israel, right, whether it's from the west coast of Africa or, or, uh, or, or over there in the land of the Americas. Right, you see what this man has done to the world, and all you can see is a, a man who is blessed with the sword. That's what the scripture says, wait ye upon me, because we can't fight this man, we can't fight this man and his blessing, right? Because who gave him that blessing? Yahweh, if you can receive it, because he is Isaac, if you can receive it, okay. It says, and because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of the calamity, in the time of their iniquity, and the end. Right, it says, therefore, as I live, say, if you have a power, right, I will prepare thee unto blood, right, and blood shall pursue thee. Just right now, the curse is pursued. What's it, Jay? You know, you can uh, put together, uh, you know, I'm going to set up this business, I'm going to set up that business, okay? And uh, <laughs> the curse is they're going to find you, right? So, but that's what blood is going to be like unto Esau, okay? So, Sith, so since. Uh, thou hast ha ha thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. So there's a lot of death coming from these these for for these Edomites and all ultimately all these heathen nations, because all these heathen nations have had a hand in you know our captivity, right? Uh, you read uh, what was it, um, the parable of uh, Lazarus, okay? What did what happened with Lazarus? So the dogs licked uh, the crumbs. Dogs ate the crumbs at the table, right? Meaning these other nations. Yeah, Esau's was the one that's been uh, again the the best goodies, but these heathens they're not gonna go unpunished, okay? So I want to read a few precepts. Uh, it's on revenge. This is Gen Genesis nine and six. Whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of God made he man. Right. So the scriptures talk about oh, you know, you know, no, rather let me say that the, the Christians talk about oh, you can't, you know, you can't revenge. Where is that in the scriptures? Right, scriptures speak about revenge, payback. Right, if a man does you wrong, right, you, you they, they, there's a balance. Right, the universe is all about setting a balance, man. Right, Esau, and that, that's why the apostles name it, uh, call it plantation Christianity, because plantation Christianity is all about keeping you docile, keeping you not fighting against uh, uh, your your master. Right. Okay. It says Exodus twenty one sixteen, and he that stealeth a man and selleth him, oh man, oh man, he saw, he guilty, right? It says, oh, if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. And to this day, we are found in your hand, right? Scripture says in Baruch, we are yet this day in our captivity, right? So in this day, because wait, when Esau says, look, you can't work without this coronavirus vaccine. Guess what? If we don't adhere to that. We ain't going to work. And guess what that means for, for us? We ain't going to work. <laughs> okay? Why? Because, hey, Esau's going to start then say, okay, if you ain't got the vaccine, you ain't going to work. Then he's going to say, if you ain't going to if you ain't got the chip, you ain't going to be able to work. So we we going to have to say on both occasions, look, man, all right, you, look, man, cool. All right, we're just going to have to get go, go, off, go off grid. Right? And that is the direction that this kingdom is going in. Okay? This is Numbers 35, 33. So you shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land. The land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Right? Balance. Right? Uh, Psalms 149 and 7 to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. And in fact, in fact 100, Psalms 149, you've got to read the whole whole chapter for that one. Um, Psalms, oh, whoops, what did I do? Psalms 14 and 2 says, And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of Yahweh, right? For servants and handmaids, right? It says, and they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. And who's, who's oppressed us, right? Namely, these Edomites, these so-called white people. And we're still in their oppressor system to this day, okay? And the Lord's going to give us power over them. That's a beautiful thing. And do you know what? A lot of our people can't see that. A lot of our people can't imagine that that is actually going to happen. But it's going to happen. Okay, and it's going to be a beautiful time, right? And that's why a lot of our people, they're going to fall out in these last days, right? They're going to, uh, and they, well, right now they don't believe. A large majority of our people, they don't believe. And it ain't for them to believe, okay? Because they're going to join onto our, our oppressors, 
went and take the trip. Isaiah 31 and 1 says, uh, Woe unto thee that, that go down to Egypt for help. All right, and jump down to verse 21. It says, Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. Now you read Ezekiel when it says that the son shall not pay for the sins of the father. So what is this talking about? Okay, it's talking about uh, reincarnation, right? And that's why reincarnation is so pivotal for these scriptures. Right? That's why these Christians believe in this concept of hell because they don't believe in reincarnation. Okay, reincarnation, uh, 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 you know, uh, it removes the need for a hell because with reincarnation, read the scriptures says uh, is an Ecclesiastes, and I saw under the sun the place of judgment. Or it says I saw under the sun that judgment was there. Well, basically meaning that you get judged on earth, okay? It says um, that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities, right? So uh, these Edomites, he said, oh, but that was our forefathers. Now you are your forefathers and you're going to pay for the sins of your forefathers, right? This is uh, 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 Isaiah 31 and 1. It says, woe to thee that spoilest and thou wast not spoiled and dealt treacherously and they dealt not treacherously with thee. When thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled. When thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherously with thee. When if this ain't Esau, I don't I don't know who this is. If they this is if this isn't the circle woman, I don't know who this is. Whether it's the French, Dutch, right, the Portuguese, the English, right, or whatever Edomite you are. What whatever, whatever Edomite you are, you've done you've dealt wickedly with the children of Israel, man. Right? And do you know what the Lord has a balance? To, to, to set right against you. Okay, and these things are going to happen unto you. All of these things, because you really think about it. And the worst thing, Esau was the devil, because, you know, so I was meditating, I remember reasoning with a brother on it. You've had several different nations that have actually, not to the same level, but but have gone through a time of being under Esau. What you think about. Um, uh, 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 the Japanese over there building a whether well, it was the Japanese or the Chinese, right, so called, right, was building the railroads out there in America. Yet yeah, their history isn't defined by that. But this devil, when you read Psalms 8, 8, 58 and three, um, uh, uh, speaks about uh, they go strange as soon as they be born speaking lies. Right, this devil has pushed out this lie that that's all that the children of Israel are known for slavery. Right, here it is with the Israelites. Well, but it's beautiful when that's the fulfillment of prophecy. Because once again, Hosea 1 and 10 says, um, In the land wherein thou art, uh, 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 you know, where, where it shall be said, you are not my people, then it shall be shown that you are my people. So it's okay. Say we're not the children of Israel. You do that. You're fulfilling prophecy. Okay. Um, Jeremiah 30, 16 says, Therefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured. Right? So, hey, you would start off the Edomites and all the nations on down because... Ultimately, all these heathen nations have a problem with us, and that's it. Okay, so in all thine adversaries, all your enemies, read Psalms the eighty third chapter. Right, says all these different heathen. So right? every one of them shall go into captivity, and they shall, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all they that pray upon thee will I give for a prey. We read Jeremiah forty nine and twelve. It says Ezekiel thirty five fifteen, and thou didst rejoice at the inheritance of the house of Israel, because it was desolate. So I will do unto thee, thou shalt be desolate, O Mount Sea, representing Esau, Eden. Right? It says, and all I do me, even all of it, and they shall know that I am Yahweh. Okay? So here it wants, and that's beautiful. That is beautiful because this devil has, you know, he has rejoiced on, on, on bringing, bringing us down. But you're going to be brought down. When you read Obadiah 118, it says, uh, 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 um, uh, the house of Jacob shall be aflame. Um, house of Israel for let me get it. Oh my god, let me get it, man. Because it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful precept. It's a beautiful precept. Okay, this is Obadiah 118. It says this it says, And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and they shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau for Yahweh had spoken it, right? So uh, let's break this down. So, uh, House of Jacob representing the, the the southern kingdom, right? House of Joseph right, representing the northern kingdom, right? House of Ephraim, right? Uh, e e Ephraim representing Joseph. Okay, it says, and the house of Esau for stubble, and it shall kindle them and devour them. So the house of Eden shall be devoured, right? It says, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, right? For Yahweh hath spoken it. So the Lord hath spoken. You read Isaiah fifty five and eleven. It says, if, if the, whatever the Most speaks. 
right? That's gonna be what it is. That's it. That's 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 it, right? It's what it's now gonna happen, okay? I'm basically saying that these Edomites, after a thousand years of hardcore bondage, ain't gonna be no more. They ain't never gonna see Edomite ever again, right? And to quote, you know, uh, 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 you know, people before me. Well, that's why yeah, you gotta you gotta have fun with these Edomite women while you still can, cause they ain't gonna be there in the year one thousand and one of the kingdom. All of the Edomites gonna be done away with. And that's gonna be a beautiful day, okay? That's gonna be a beautiful day. Why? Because this man has been nothing but a scourge to the earth. You read uh, uh what was that? Uh, 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 Revelation eleven eighteen speaks about they that devour um that destroy the earth need to be destroyed, and this earth has been polluted, man. You know, you watch a nature documentary, and at the end of it, it's like, oh, but guess what? Their habitats being destroyed for this and that reason. Oh, but guess what? Because of uh, uh you know pollution or you know which some of that you know is going to be east or propaganda. But the pro the, the point is the earth is being destroyed, and that is of a truth. And the scriptures still speak about that. that you know, Isaiah 24 and 5. Where the earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Okay. So we uh, see how many more we got. We got of these. It's so Joel 3 and 7. It says, Behold, I'll raise them out of the place where the year I've sold them. And I'll return your recompense upon your own head. Right. So revenge. Right. Second Ezra 15, 56 and 57. Like as... Uh, thou hast done unto my chosen, saith the Lord, even so shall the Most High do unto thee, and shall deliver thee into mischief. And the children shall die of hunger, and, the sh and thou shalt fall through the sword. Thy Sith shall be broken down, all thine shall perish with the sword in the field. Colossians 3.25 But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done. There is no respect of persons. Right, so you do wickedly, the Messiah is going to reward you wickedly. You do a good work, and Lord's all Yahbashim Yasha Ratza, we're doing a good work, and guess what? We're going to re we're going to uh, uh, receive a good work, okay? Uh, we're going to receive salvation. Lord's all will be of that number, right? And this is why we do these videos, right? You know, was the son of the apostles and down for thirty years plus. Right on the streets and every Saturday pushing the work of Yah, doing the work of Yah, Bashim Yahshai. Right, the, the prime day to do nigger shit. Let's, be, let's just keep it real. Right, that's what everyone wants to do on the Saturday. Just go out to the clubs, this, that, and the other, do whatever it, fuck they want to do, be with a woman, whatever, have you. But the labors and the labor of love that, you know, that the apostles on down, when, you know, were following in their footsteps. Right to, to 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 do a good work in the hope that we can be saved, okay. Otherwise, the rest of the world, like right, these these devils, these demons, these Edomites, doing wickedness, they're going to receive the wickedness that they've done. Right, but we're doing this good work, and Lord, will Yahweh Hashem Yahshua build that number? We're going to receive the good works that we've done, okay. Second Thessalonians one and six is seeing it is a righteous thing with the most hard to recompense tribulations to them that trouble you, okay. Once again, revenge. Right, uh, Revelation 13 and 10 It says he that leaveth in his captivity Shall go into captivity He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword For it was the patience and the faith of the saints And we believe this is going to happen Right This isn't a, and this is the difference between us And our, our people that are on the fence Right, for us This is an inevitability Okay, these things are going to happen It's not a It's not far-fetched to us Okay, this is, is the, this is our patience and our faith. Right? We're waiting for these, the time that we have you devils in subjection. Okay, it's Revelation 18 and 6. It's reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto a double. And that's not a literal double. It's basically saying multiply, right? So according to her works and the cup which she had filled, filled to a double, right? So in, that, in, in the revenge, right? revenge her in, 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 in you know, in, 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 in an innumerable her way. Okay, so as always, you know, laws all that was edifying, you know, F these devils, F these Edomites, F these Marmites, Ishmaelites, right? But F all of these heathens, man, right? And you know, laws all, you have Mashim Yahshai, put a spirit on E, Sahara up on, uh, on his endeavor, right? And then we can get the hell out of this kingdom, man, right? So, uh, with that, once again, laws all, you edified to next time, Shalom.